Hey y'all, this is Marley K. Hope everybody is well. Got a story for you that's really important that kind of flew under the radar. It came out in 2020, but it is about the children of the corn planning on changing the calendar. They're going to have a world calendar. Everybody in the world would observe the same things. There would be no more leap year. And of course, it's going to save you over $500 a year. That's what they say. What's really important about this story is for those of us who keep Sabbath, um, who are supposed to observe the um, seven feast days, or not feast days, but the several um, feasts um, that is a part of the covenant, Um, like Passover, Day of Atonement, Day of Atonement, um, Feast of Tabernacle, the Feast of Trumpets, the Feast of Weeks, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and the just weekly Sabbath. We're supposed to keep those, but if you go by the Gregorian calendar or any calendar that man makes up, you will not be able to keep these and be in order in accordance to when the um, Bible Torah, the Tanakh, tells us to uh, observe those feasts in those days of rest. So it's really important that you understand why this is significant. It's also really important that you learn how to observe the moon so you'll know how to count the days um, because they can't jump up there in the sky and mess with the moon yet. But um, I'm sure they have plans to do that because they got a plan for everything. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but just in case it does for a season, we need to prepare just like we're learning now that we're um, going by the Gregorian calendar and observing Sabbath, which probably makes a lot of what we do wrong. I'm just being honest that, you know, we are living in our captivity. So part of this time is to try to fix what's broken, remember and learn and do right. Repent for what we do wrong. Um, ask um, the creator for forgiveness because we don't know like so it's, it's really difficult right now for us to be Israelites in captivity because so much of what we need to be um, who we are as a people uh, other people control it for their own nefarious purposes so we have to understand what is happening now what is getting ready to happen and we need to prepare because we don't know how long we're going to have to go through any of this stuff before we are gathered and delivered from this uh, wickedness so professors say a new calendar um, would eliminate leap year so this is a radical new calendar proposal promises to eliminate leap years and time zones so they're gonna again this is part of the global order one world government, one world, one world, one, one, one. Everybody going to be doing the same thing. So they're going to get rid of time zones. And according to professors who designed it, save you $575 every year. Steve Hank and Dick Henry, professors at John Hopkins University, which has a very um, nefarious history where Israelites are concerned. Got to look it up tout their calendar as very close to perfect and argue that current system that the current system is costing us time and money now y'all know um i need to look up the scripture about the time and seasons i don't i don't want to misquote it because i want to tell you what the adversary is doing right now This is it, 2 Daniel 2, 21. So I'm going to read it in context, and this is from the NIV version. So it says, oh, I better should, I guess I should read it from the name of God's version. Come on, the 
internet has been slow all day. Okay, so this is Daniel 2, 20 through 22. And it says, he said, praise Eloah's name from everlasting to everlasting because he is wise and powerful. He changes times and periods of history. He removes kings and establishes them. He gives wisdom to those who are wise and knowledge to those who have insight. He reveals deeply hidden things and he knows what is in the dark and light lives with him. So there's only one person who's supposed to change the times and periods. Only one. And that is our creator. If he doesn't do it, it's not supposed to be done. But as you can see, um, the adversary does this. Um, and this is why we must be wise as serpents right now. Understand what's coming. Um, I didn't know anything about this, so um, I will include this scripture um, in the description. But it's really important that we understand, you know, the book of um, Daniel and the particular the dream of Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel's interpretation of it basically describes Babylon. And this is what we are living now. Um so, you know, it's it's interesting that this came up in the video that I was watching about the lunar Sabbath. And it was really a presentation about Easter and why the Passover was changed from Easter and how the Pope this particular year moved Easter so that it would not be on Passover. So that's, you talk about wickedness, like this is what we are dealing with anything to keep the Israelites um, committing sin and being disobedient to the Most High. So this is why we must repent because we're in captivity because of our own doing and we're being disobedient because we're not able to keep Sabbath and the feast days the way that we're supposed to because one, we don't know. We don't know how to keep time um, we don't know how to read the moon, like so much stuff we don't know and we're learning. And as we learn, they're doing what they can to hurry up and take down the Internet and remove books and remove um, teachers and just make it difficult for you to learn anything. So it's really important that you get this information. So it says the concept of leap year was originally designed to account. And so they don't tell you who designed it, um, but it was designed by the popes um and if you look at that lunar sabbath presentation in the description it does a really good job of showing you how they changed times and created um, all these pagan holidays for us to worship um their gods and not our god is the god of the israelites the one and true living god our creator so it says the concept of leap years was originally designed to account for how long it takes the earth to orbit the sun, 365 days and a quarter days. The Gregorian calendar set a, a leap year pattern that the world has been following since the 16th century. But you see how they leave out so much detail, like they make sure they don't tell you the truth about why it was done because they didn't want us to be Israelites to worship our God. And because they know they had us in captivity during that time, um, they erased our history. They gave us a slave Bible that they changed. They took out canon um, text, a scripture, precepts that um, prevented us from knowing who we are. They changed our names. Um, they beat us. They separated us. They did a lot of things to prevent us from knowing um, what was going on. And because we were running, because we were being chased, we were being um, enslaved, you know, we could. it was not possible to keep up with 
time and seasons. And so we forgot who we were. And so this is why they talk the way that they talk in the media and communicate with each other and lie to their own people and to us so that we don't know who we are. We don't know what we're supposed to do. We do what they tell us to do and be disobedient to our God. Um, and, and just keep in mind, the 16th century is when we were enslaved, like 1619. Uh, mm, come on, stay with me. All right. Alexander Boxer, author of A Scheme from Heaven, which examines how we organize dates, called the current calendar a fascinating product of many civilizations. I can't even say nothing. No words. The leap year marked the end of an attempt to sync the calendar with cycles of the moon and acceptance of a calendar that was purely solar, he told CBS This Morning Saturday, co-host Jeff Glor. So you see how they're basically admitting that they took what was in the Bible or the Torah, tailored it, twisted up. And then basically saying that they um, are changing it. Um, They don't want the calendar to purely um, be linked with cycles of the moon. And they're getting away from the calendar that was purely solar because it just doesn't work. And now that time is getting ready to reset they gotta redo everything so this is what they're preparing for so it says dick henry criticized the current system as disorganized the the thing jerks around by a day or two and think how many people around the world and sports schedules and all these things that jump and jerk and jerk around he said their alternative would add an extra week to the at the end of December to make up for not having leap days. He and Steve Hank argue their proposal favors consistency, but they're playing God. And the Gentiles are gonna have to pay for this. They don't realize it, but they are. So it says January 1st is always on a Monday forever, Hank said. So right there, that's the problem. The Hank Henry permanent calendar would set all birthdays and holidays to the same day each year. Likely bad news for those whose special days fall on a Monday or a Tuesday. October 31st, when many celebrate Halloween, would be eliminated altogether along with every Friday the 13th. Why are you going to get away from Friday the 13th? Hmm. Interesting. The pair said the shift would be more efficient because it makes school calendars more predictable and simplifies financial calculations with evenly divided business quarters. So what they're doing has nothing to do with nothing but money. Because even school is tied to having a workforce, to indoctrinating your workforce so they can go out and be good workers and not do what y'all said do. The claim the general efficiency could save the average person over $500 annually. Eliminating time zones, though hard to grasp, is not an unprecedented idea in the Hank Henry calendar proposal. It's already implemented for all airline pilots, Henry explained. Every airline pilot in the United States does states does not use time zones. They use Greenwich Mean Time, whatever that is. And they better because if they're flying across the Mississippi River, they don't want to change their watches by an hour and then change their watches. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, it's ludicrous. The pair said they have been working on their calendar for decades. But the debate for alternatives to our current system will likely continue as long as people's fascination with leap year does. So I'm going to go to this link where it talks about this calendar because I don't know anything about it.
The Hank Henry Permanent Calendar. The world did not come to an end on December 12th, I'm sorry, December 21st, 2012, contrary to the Mayan calendar, um, to what the Mayan calendar had predicted. In 2012, news of Iran's hyperinflation brought the solar Hijiri calendar used throughout Iran and Afghanistan back into the news. And every year, over a billion people around the world celebrate the Chinese Lunar New Year. Suffice to say, there are many calendars out there besides our familiar Gregorian calendar. The world should now turn to a calendar that is superior to all existing calendars because it's created by the children of the corn, so it's superior. One which will provide a comprehensive revision of contemporary Gregorian calendar. The Hank Henry permanent calendar. So I guess this was going to be the HHPC adheres to the most basic tenet of a fixed permanent calendar each year. Each date falls on the same day of the week. In our case, every year begins on Monday, January the 1st. So... Don't know. But I'm going to go to media because I want to see what's said about it. So I guess those two old white men that did it. I'm sorry, Gentiles who are following me, but y'all just be doing so much. You get your people. Get them. Um, I'm going through this because I'm looking for something in particular. I'm looking to see what the Pope, or if anybody had to say about this. That's what I'm looking for. I don't see it um, uh, because what I'm looking for is I'm trying to see um, where this idea actually came from and that I'm not really sure. But the fact that it came out in 2020, right as the cough cough was coming out um, is interesting. And now it's been about four years, I, I would suspect that whenever everything is said and done and they introduce all the new stuff that we're going to have to go by a new calendar will go with the new bible and the mark um sunday work free sundays and all the stuff that they're going to introduce and everybody's going to go along with anything and everything because after you've had to fight for your life to survive and you've starved to death and you probably, um, you know, lost some loved ones. You lost some stuff. You don't care if they introduce a new, what is a new calendar? What the heck is that? Who cares? That's what people are going to be like. That's that's how I, I feel. Um, so I don't see anything right offhand that looks weird but if i find anything i will let you know anywho i'm going to include a link to this article in the description as well as this site for you to review um oh here it is right in my face professor hank and professor henry propose worldwide adoption of universal time and the hank henry uh, permanent calendar on CNN's Fareed Zakaria GPS. So I don't know where these busters come from, but anyway, um, y'all know all of the evil communications are controlled by them folks and the adversary. 
So just the mere fact that it's all over everywhere is, is enough for you to understand how big of a deal this is. And although it happened in 2020, I'm sure we're going to start hearing about it or seeing it again pop up sometime, you know, if not in the very near future, definitely after all hell has broken loose and they allow us to have television and stuff back. So anyway, learn how to look up in the sky and look at the moon and the stars to keep Sabbath. That's going to be really important because they're getting ready to mess with the calendar again. And if all these things stay fixed, you're not going to actually, the Sabbath will be not just on mainly on Saturdays, um, sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. The Sabbath will be all different days and times. And you're going to have to, um, you know, whatever you're doing, you're going to have to adhere to being off. It's, it's just going to make everything off. How you're going to work, how you're going to live when you know, the, the Sabbath is, is kept by the moons. And if it's a fixed calendar, you know, how is that so? One, one I, I don't know, it's just confusing. I can't explain it, but this ain't right. So anyway, we have more confusion to the um, calendar. And the children of the corn are just creating more problems for us. But we understand why they are creating problems, because the goal is to make sure that if we are still here, we are continue to remain lost and not know when the Sabbath is. So learn as much as you can. Learn the Hebrew calendar. Learn the um, Looney Solar um, Sabbath calendar, learn how to go outside, look at the moon and see when the Sabbath is and learn how to keep it that way, because that's how we're supposed to keep it. And Yahweh, you know, created that way because he knew that the wackadoodles would always change times and seasons and confuse us in particular. It's only for us because the heathens don't care. They really don't worship the way that we're supposed to worship. And right now, we most the majority of Israelites don't worship the way that we're supposed to because they're Christian and they follow Rome. So, you know, for those of us who are awakened, let us learn and understand what's coming. And then let us try to wake up our brothers and sisters so that they can come out of the darkness into the light. All right, y'all, this is Marla Kay. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload new content. Um, make sure you check the links for the Lunar Sabbath channel. Um, if you have some comments or you need to um, fill us in on some info, please drop a link in the description. Um, I'm all for learning and helping others get what we need so we can navigate what's coming. Um, Follow me on Odyssey, Rumble, Instagram, and on Facebook. The links are in the description. In the event that this YouTube channel is taken down, I will post on Rumble. If you'd like to support the channel financially, your contributions would be greatly appreciated. Um, links are in the description all the way at the bottom. Mm, finally, keep prepping, keep praying, keep seeking the most high. Repent for your sins, including screwing up when sabbath is and not keeping feast days because lord knows we just all messed up um and i don't know <laughs> there's just like no easy answer except for do it the way that the the word tells us to do it like if you do it that way you can't it doesn't matter what they do you're always going to be right what it will be a problem, though, is you trying to be in this world and work and in this world and live because you're going to be forced to explain why you need to keep being off and doing the things that you do. So in any event, uh, just make sure that you are keeping up with the Sabbath and times and seasons because 
Um, things are going to change soon and knowing is half the battle. All right, this is Marla Kay and I'm out.